So I'm Katie. I am a fitness trainer and dance teacher and coach. People are very surprised to know I was a very, very shy and introverted kid. So I turned to dance and art and music to express what I couldn't say in a general context. I realized that I loved connecting with people and telling stories. But was there any kind of certain moment that sparked the love for the fitness industry for you? Or if it's just always been like a natural progression? Come on, good job, good job. I think when I first started uh, training people, I realized what an impact it had on their lives. I saw how much it transformed them physically, but I also saw how much it transformed their minds and their souls. Pulse, pulse, bring it down, bring it down, stay low. Wait through the heels, yes, stay low. Breathe, 10 seconds, hold, hold, hold. And that really hit home to me. I felt like I found the golden ticket. Um, and for me, I kind of had that epiphany. I was like, this isn't about getting fitter or stronger or leaner. This is about creating your best self and maximizing your life. When it started with health and fitness, I didn't love working out. I didn't love, oh, I'm gonna squat, I'm gonna lunge, I love it so much. It wasn't about that for me. What I loved was what it afforded people in life. It afforded them a second chance and it gave them opportunity. And I always continue to reiterate that to my clients that this isn't, this isn't about the depth of your squat or the speed of your run. This is about having the chance to walk your daughter down the aisle or chase after your kids or explore every, every crevice of the world. You know, I, I think we're here, we're all here for a greater purpose and I want you to live to find it. I guess you obviously do a lot of things with the community. I mean, the other day we saw you working with young adults with disabilities. Um, how does that inspire you and how does that make you feel, I guess? It just, there's no words that I can really use to describe it other than it just gives me purpose. I just feel like I'm living for something greater. What is, if there are any, any challenges for you in the fitness industry and kind of, you know, being your own boss and working for yourself? Uh, because I love what I do, so I, I never really see anything as, a, as a, a difficult challenge. I love challenges. I think challenges make us better people and stronger people. Um, so I consistently try to challenge myself every day, but in terms of being my own boss, I've always been my own boss ever since I left school and I graduated. I've always kind of worked for myself, so I've never really known another way. And when, I, when I've had those little times where someone has been keeping me accountable, I find it difficult because I'm so used to taking, so, so used to leading, yeah, leading. I have always liked to live by the philosophy that at the end of your life, people may forget what you've done, but they'll never forget how you've made them feel. And that's really, really important to me to always make whatever connection it may be, to always make people feel something, whatever it is, look into the eyes of others and see their soul and speak with conviction, pursue everything you want in life fearlessly and always lead with love. To me, success follows happiness. A lot of people will follow a set path yep. because they're scared of failing. But to me, and I've realized this, particularly in the last couple of years, that the greatest involvement happens in the free fall of life. Mm -hmm. And I know that's when I've learned my greatest lessons. 
there's comfort in knowing that when you fall down, you have the opportunity to get back up. Yeah. And I think people need to know that. Not to be scared. Yeah. This is scary for me right now. It's scary. <laughs> yeah. It's scary. But it's good though, because I guess, yeah, from putting yourself out there and putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, you normally always at least learn something about yourself. enjoy the journey of life so often we're so focused on reaching the destination that we forget to enjoy the journey yeah. and you should always have a why because if you have a why you can tolerate any how in life <laughs>